When's the last time you were bored? And I mean truly bored. A boredom that affects your daily routine. A boredom that, quite frankly, takes the fun out of life. I was reading an article recently that caught my attention. It claimed that the average American finds 131 days every year boring and not particularly fun. Now to me, I thought that sounded a little unreasonable. I mean, how can we find over a third of our year so boring that we dread getting out of bed because it's not fun? But then it made sense. We might spend our days doing something hard and unenjoyable at times, leading to a very boring and not fun lifestyle. So what else would you do except to go home and entertain yourself? And in 2023, there's an infinite amount of ways to sit down and become consumed. Consumed in an object that requires no interaction, no thoughts, and no work. I mean, it's so easy. Who doesn't enjoy some instant happiness? Excuse me. Walk around. And when you pop back into reality, you are only left with dreams of wanting to live someone else's life. Now, the one thing I could never understand is how everyone loves to talk bad about social media, but no one will provide a solution. All right, so I'm sick and tired of driving this stupid Baja. Um, yes, it's been a long work in progress and Right now it's running very rich, so it gives me a headache whenever I drive it with the windows down because fuel smell just comes and hits me. So, I think I'm going to try to clean up the mass airflow sensor tonight. I'll see if that fixes it. I'm really hoping it does because I want to drive this thing more now that it's summer. And obviously I can't have this fuel issue happening when I'm on the road because that's just draining fuel mileage. And also it's not good for you. So, we're going to try it tonight and see what happens. This right here has been my reality for the past year and a half, spending my evenings chasing problems on a project car. To be honest, most will call this a lost cause or a stupid idea, but this was something I knew I had to do. Buying a Subaru Baja to totally restore and build into an off-road camping vehicle is not the most practical thing to do, and I will admit that, but something inside me loves the torture. I took it for a test drive the other night after cleaning the mass airflow sensor and it seemed fine, I didn't smell any fuel. Now I did notice again a lot of smoke coming out the exhaust, blue smoke, smells like oil. And I believe that this would be from the turbo. But yeah, I believe when I'm going down the hill, oil runs from the intercooler through the throttle body into the engine. I could be totally wrong, I'm not very mechanically inclined, I know a little bit. But we're gonna, that's what we're going to find out tonight, if there's oil in the intercooler. Then we have another issue, and that's probably the turbo, and that's probably not going to be my problem. I'm probably going to send it off to the shop. I'm hoping that this fixes the oil issue because, again, it's another annoying thing. I kind of look stupid when I'm driving through town and there's just a massive amount of smoke coming out. So, let's try to fix that. Oh, no. I love cars. It's great. Brake bolts. <laughs> yeah. 
Even after a year and a half of work, I still have not been able to get it ready for a solo camping adventure. In fact, I only got it on the road last month and it is still a few months out from being trip ready. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't miserable to have all this time and money invested into a project that isn't even usable yet. But all this work will build into something amazing when I'm able to use it for my adventures for the first time. And I guess what I'm trying to say here is, I love torturing myself. I've learned that long-term goals will always give me more satisfaction than a lifetime of dopamine microdoses.